All right, so let's do another example. Sorry, I had to cut that um, last video off. So this is part two, and we're going to do another example of using um, of using our variables, or sorry, of using our of declaring our local and global variables. So let's talk again about um, our variables here. So let's create a um, a function that's going to add ten to a result. So I'm going to call it add 10 and I'm going to just add a number so I'm going to put in some type of number so maybe I have 20. So I declared so I have my int main and it's going to call upon a function called add 10 so here I need to create a function int add 10. Um, it's going to have some arguments so int x opening and closing curly brackets and what it's going to do is it's going to declare a variable called int results. And in that, it's going to take x, whatever value x is, or in this case, it'll be 20 plus 10. And it's going to return that value. All right, so I created a new function called add 10. I call upon it in my main. And again, remember, we need to declare it as a universal variable or a global, sorry. So it's add 10. All right, so I'm gonna run this. And it does the work, but oops, I gotta see out that. So let's do see out. And it does that indeed. So let's, let's just change the number to 40 just to make sure. Should give us the number 50. Perfect. Now we can also add um, another another function here. So I have um, add ten, and maybe um, let's talk about the result. So whatever the result is, let's go ahead and. Um, Or let's go ahead and grab another um, value of 10. Okay, so. So the value of result, or sorry, results, is available only within the curly brackets in which it's defined. So it's basically only available within the add 10. But we could write also write another function with variable results. Okay, so um, maybe I want here an int get value. And maybe I have an int result equals 20. And return results. And um, Maybe in here, I maybe have x equals get. Okay. And then let's make sure we declare our get value. Here we go. Forgot the opening. 
option. My fault. There we go, it's 60. All right, so what this does, let's go back up here and talk about this. So what this does is it goes to int main and it goes, it's going to see out whatever the result is of add 10. So add 10, it's going to take for the number 40. It's now going to input 40 into the function called add 10. So add 10 is going to be now x, which is 40, plus get value. So now it's going to drop down to get value. It's going to take the result of 20, return that. So it's now going to put 40 in for x. And for the get value, it's going to be 20. And it's going to assign it to another, or assign it to a variable called results. And it's going to take 40 plus 20, return the results, and pop it back out. So it's okay um, that results is used in different functions. Um, the variable results is only available within the curly brackets for which it's defined. So because I declared it in here and I'm only using it in there, it's okay if I use the same variable name because it's only really being used inside those two curly, inside the curly brackets. So that's what's nice about functions. It keeps it blocked in. So let's try um, one more here. And I am going to go back up. And I'm going to do my int main. And um, in this, I am going to um, declare a variable. So I'm going to declare a variable int y equals 4. This is a local variable to this. It's not going to be used in anything else. And then we're going to change. We're going to call upon a new function called change argument. And it's going to have a value of y. And what this will be is y, oops, let's do a comment, y will be unharmed by the function. And then um, CLY. So now let's create a function. All right, so now I'm going to create a new function called um, void. Change argument. Oops. Int y. Oops, let's do int x. And let's do um, opening and closing parentheses here. And x equals x plus 5. Okay, so what this is saying is, um, and let's still go ahead and declare this variable. What this is saying is it's not going to change um, the value of y. Because this is, we declared um, y to be inside this main, um, it's not going to change it because, oops, because the arguments to the functions um, are declared in the scope of the, the variables are not available to the caller of the function even though caller is providing the value. So for example, 
function arguments are like stump doubles of variables passed to the function. Changing a function argument has no effect on the original variable. So when a variable is passed into a function, it is copied into the function argument, and it really doesn't change it. So you'll notice that even though we're talking, um, we're talking as We're talking as if like this act y um, gets put into four and because four gets put into this value, even though they're different things, it doesn't change, it won't change it. Okay, so let's even check to make sure, what if we said return? And see, because we're, it's a void, it's not going to return that value. Now, what if we said int? Let's go ahead and try that. And return that. That value. Let's see if it does that. See, it still doesn't, it still doesn't change the value um, of, of that argument. because we declared it here and it stays within that function. So go through these, um, practice them, and um, you'll have more information tomorrow about global variables. And um, we'll do a few other things.